What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the 10 minute build of my Subaru Impreza hatchback. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dom Filari. I do Subaru mods, we wrap cars, we tint cars, we do everything on this channel. This video is gonna be a quick one. It's gonna show you all the mods we've done to the Impreza. If you have any cars that you're trying to mod, stick around, you might get some ideas. The first one is the DIY mesh grill. This is the very first mod I did to my car. Subaru sells a sports mesh grill for $300, but I did not want to spend that, so I bought $3 gutter guard, and I made a DIY mesh grill out of that Home Depot mesh. Check out the video right up here. I also teach you how to take your bumper off in this video. It's funny because this clip, yours will not come off that easily. Trust me. You're going to have to tug on yours a bit more to get it off. I've taken mine off at least 10 times already. So that will happen when you take your bumper off multiple, multiple times. Next was the spoiler raise. I was super upset that Subaru stopped making quality pieces for the hatchbacks in this generation. What the fuck, Subaru? I finally get one of your cars and this is how you repay me? With shit STI accessories? God and I was inspired by the riser kit made by Perrin for the old Subaru hatchbacks and the Ford Focuses, so I tried to make my own. This was the worst mod I made for my car. Don't do this. Uh, I show some clips here, but I didn't really emphasize how it looks all the way around. Don't do this, it's not a good mod. Let's move to the next one. The Rally Armor Mud Flaps. I bought these for $20. Rally Armor makes universal mud flaps for $20, and then they make mud flap kits that they say fit your car, and they sell them for about $130. I always suggest buying the universal ones, saving the money. They are very easy to install. Check out the video right up here, and they add a super aggressive look to your car. Number four, I was very inspired by Christian Nose channel. He has a WRX hatch and he did a bumper cut. So I watched his video, I took an idea of his, I kind of made it my own and I cut out part of the bumper instead of cutting out all of the bumper. In this video, I also teach you how to remove your rear bumper. So if you need to remove any bumpers, check that video out right up there. This is also the first video where I introduced the evil mailman and uh... Whoa, dude, dude, whoa! Dude, are you serious? Dude! What the? So yeah, let's move to the next. Since I cut the bumper out and I showed the muffler, I needed to enhance the muffler. I wasn't ready to buy an exhaust or anything yet, so I painted the muffler gold. Oh, my eyes, hold on, hold on. All right, guys, I'm losing daylight very rapidly. In this video uh, was a very good clip as well, so enjoy this one right here. How are you? Oh, I just realized it was you, my bad. I, knew, I was I about to ask. So last time I was here, what did you say? I said I like the little Itachi, little Itachi TV right here. One of my favorite characters out of the anime besides Kakashi and Nobita. Besides who? Kakashi and Nobita. Two, two of them. Milena, what you got? What you got for my man? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Yo. Oh my. <laughs> Yo, this is so dope. This is my favorite moment with Kakashi. There you oh go, dude. God, it's all yours. Yo. Oh my, thank you. You got The next mod, super easy mod, and I think every Subaru guy should have these. Every car guy should have these. The vent visors. I bought these on eBay for like 40 bucks. All you do is remove the double-sided tape and you put them on. One of the easiest mods you can do to a car and it gives it another layer on your car and it makes it look so much better. The next mod is the tail light tint. The Subaru tail lights have red sections and they have white sections in the middle. I did not want the white sections. I wanted it to all be red. So I bought red vivid tint and this was before I tinted anything and before I wrapped anything and I went for it. It was kind of easy, but you can see how red it was at the start. And then after a while, now it's faded to like pretty much see-through pink. So I'm thinking about removing them and doing them over in a different brand. After trying to use their headlight tint and after having tail light tint fade like that, I don't stand behind Vivid anymore. This next mod, the side skirts. For you Subaru hatchback sport owners, your car was actually born with these on it. They already have it. You didn't have to do anything for this. But for the base models, we have no side skirts. We just have the plain old rocker panel. So this was when I pretty much said I wasn't going to be able to sell my car. Hey, Dom. Uh, 
Dominic. Hey, how's it going? Good. So I've uh, looked over your comments and it looks like you got a couple of questions. Yeah, I was wondering, would I void my warranty for the 2018 Impreza? Mm, that is a tricky area in your warranty. So would I, would it void it? Yeah. Because I had to drill into the rocker panels to install these side skirts. Check this out. Way. Oh! Ah, come on. I don't want to smoke, I don't need a drink. Just tell me how you feel. I'm pretty happy about them, even though I probably can't sell my car anymore, which doesn't really matter because what I have planned is pretty much gonna really put the nail in the coffin in the fact that I can't sell my car. But you'll have to wait and see that. Let's move to the next one. On my car, I have Method Rally Race Rims. I love them, but they actually didn't come in the color that they are now. They came in a Rally Bronze, is what they call them. I think it's more of a copper look, but when I got them, I curb rashed the hell out of all four of them. So I had to sand them down, and then I got to paint them the color I actually wanted, which is the gold that's now on my car. I used a rattle can, and I think it came out looking perfect. The next mod are these rear spats that I put on my car. This was when I started fabricating pieces myself. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video starts in the shop, but only for a second. I just have to cut some wood and then went, whoa, whoa, put some goggles on, dude. You trying to lose an eye? Pussy. I used a heat gun with ABS plastic. I made a template out of cardboard and I put these on my car and I was very happy with these. These cost very little money and you can make your own. You can do your own style and that's what I really like about it. Whatever your car looks like, you can mold it to the lines. You can do whatever you want to make these type of rear spats. I highly suggest making these types of mods to your car. Also, when I was at my girlfriend's house making these rear spats, this happened. Huh? Oh my god, your fish is dead. Are you laughing? Oh my god. That's not funny. Oh my god, it's dead. Rest in peace. You gotta get a new fish. But that leads into the next mod, because I got into fabricating my own mods, and I wanted to do something a little bigger, something a little harder and I wanted to do side splitters. I looked into side splitters for my car and Subaru sells them and Subi Speed sells them, but they're way too expensive. So I made my own plastic bender and I got some ABS plastic and the results were pretty good at the time and I was happy with them at the time, but I eventually removed them for something better in the future. You'll see what comes next. So I had these side splitters on my car, I had the rear spats on my car, and I had nothing on the front. So I wanted to look into front lips. Subi Speed makes them, Subaru makes them, but they're also way too expensive. So I went to eBay and I got a 2019 WRX front lip. It's made out of this super soft and super malleable plastic. I had to heat it up a little to get one of the nipples out. I had to stretch this thing and mold it to my bumper because the bumper of the WRX and the bumper of the Impreza are not the same. But after I stretched it, after I put a bunch of self-tapping screws in it, I think it looks perfect and I'm very happy with the way it came out. On to the next mod. This is when I met Supreme Wraps at a meet and I started going to their shop. The first thing I needed to get done on my car was the tint. Way back in the day, I tried to tint my own car and it did not come out looking good. So I met Senpai at the shop. Hey, what's up? I'm Senpai from Supreme Wraps and I'm gonna teach you how to tint your car. He took care of my car, he tinted it. They do a great job. Make sure you go to Supreme Wraps if you're in the area to do any of the tints, wraps, or headlights. They also tinted my headlights, which is next. I got my headlights tinted in yellow. Mark taught me how to do that. He did the first one, I did the second one, and they came out looking so good. After they were all yellow, the next mod, I had Senpai cut out two smiley faces. Since my headlights are yellow and they have these circles in them, I put two smiley faces right on the front of my headlights. I don't think I'll get pulled over. I still haven't got pulled over. Let's hope I won't get pulled over, but I'm very happy with the way those came out. So since I wasn't happy with the side splitters I made, I went to a guy named KG Splitters, who was actually run by Kerry Getz, the pro skater, and he made me these new splitters and these new rear spats, which make the car look so much better than the old splitters. Very happy with them. Shout out to KG Splitters. 
thank you very much for hooking it up. And that brings us to right now, the final mod that I just did like last week. I got BC Racing coilovers and we lowered it. Not seriously slammed, but it's pretty low for where we are in Jersey. There's potholes everywhere and I can't be too slammed. It's low, it looks so much more aggressive, it looks so much better. And the BC coilovers are handling very well. I'm very happy with the way that they came out. So that wraps up the build as of now. Though some mods were very aggressive, wait until you see what I have planned in the future, in the next couple weeks, in the next couple months. This car is going to be insane. Make sure you subscribe to my channel with this icon right here. Make sure you watch this video, watch this video. I make a new video every week. So go back, get caught up, and I will see you next Wednesday. Peace.